Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more Pikmin. This is day 15. It is possibly the last day. I've never finished at 15. That's a lie. I probably have. I, I've just played this game too many times. Alright, let's land. The final trial. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna start off the day by using by using quite a bit of blues. This is the Wii version, so I can't really do any sequence breaks here, but I'm gonna throw all the blues. Actually, I need even more blues than this. Vast majority blues at the start of the day. Now, I'm going to take out a total of 80 blues. Forty of them are going to work on this bridge. Actually, it's shorter, so 30. And 50 will work on this bridge. Are you serious right now, you guys? Seriously? Like, you can, you can get to that bridge. I know you can. Yeah, but with that happening, this bridge will be done relatively quickly. Now, all I need are some yellows and some reds. Uh, 10 reds and 10 yellows should cut it for right now. Come on. There we go. 10 reds. Now, I'm going to lead the reds across this... That feels weirdly empty over there. It's always bothered me. Sorry, I thought I mentioned it. Uh, I'm going to throw these reds over there, and I'm going to lead them over to the other side. There's a cardboard box over here that requires 10 Pikmin to move it. See, it says 10 right there. Evermore proof that this world was designed dearly for Pikmin. We swear. Uh, now I'm going to take out 10 yellows, and after I take out the 10 yellows, we're going to go up to the uh, area that I glanced over, really. And after that, we're going to... Well, actually, we're going to take them up there. They're gonna get a bunch of bomb rocks. Then we're gonna go destroy that wall, that gray wall. It's gonna require six bomb rocks. No, 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 no! Really? Are you dumb? Keep throwing yourself in there? Okay. God, that was a terrible choice. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Throw them all up there. They'll grab as many bomb rocks as they can. Now, it is possible to mess this up and not have enough bomb rocks to do this. But here's what I like to do. Here's what I like to do. Sacrifice the yellow Pikmin. Huh! You can drown for all I care, buddy. There we go. Looks like it only requires three bomb rocks, actually. I was wrong. But I was really willing to kill them all. Ah, well, whatever. That's right, come over this direction. You'll live if you follow me. Get these bomb rocks. Do not let them just explode. That is a bad idea. All right. Now, what? Where? Where? Oh, that's right. I have a ton of blues over there. I was like, oh no. Did they go missing? No, I just, I'm dumb and forgot they were there. Come on, don't fall. I hate that they can trip. Even at the end day, the final area, they can just trip and fall. Alright, let's put up all of the blues. I know, right, I'm putting up the most important Pikmin, and my favorite Pikmin. Now, how many, uh... Actually, wait, no, I do need to get the yellows first, just to make sure it's balanced properly. 
How many yellows do I have? I'm going to want to have 20 yellows. And the rest are reds. Welcome guys to the final trial. Now, most of you probably know what's coming, but for those that don't, I'll try not to spoil you too much. This is one of my favorite boss fights in the entire Pikmin series. Because of just how massive it is. Look at that. Our ship parts in that thing. Whatever are we gonna do? We're not gonna waste bomb rocks on that wall, first of all, and we're not just gonna throw the bomb rocks right away. We have something else we need to do, and that's destroy that wall. Okay. Now, have your yellow Pikmin grab as many bomb rocks as they can. All right, that's fine, you guys, that's fine. You did good. All right, now take all the bomb rocks with you and keep the reds nearby. Never go too far from the entrance there, actually. Actually, let's uh, take a single red. Okay, that's way more than a single, but I'll take it. This is the Emperor of Bulblax. It is frightening. Look at that drool. Look at that overall nastiness. Oh, he's just gonna eat him. That's fine with me, though. Now, if you're actually standing close to him when that happens, he will uh, explode at the other bomb rocks around you. And yes, he will squash the Pikmin that are under him. Hey, don't walk away from me. No, 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 no. Really? Twice. Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, we're not gonna get much time to damage you this time around. In fact, it might have been more detrimental to that, to our success there. That's fine. One red isn't much lost. Oh, there we go, the real fight. Now your goal is to make a bomb rock Pikmin throw the bomb rock right when his tongue is out. That will cause the tongue to smack him in the face and stun and confuse him. Um, that doesn't count. That doesn't count as a Pikmin loss. Can I roll back the day? I'm kidding, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not that petty! No! Now, don't get too far away from him anymore. Did that, really, that just squishes them? It doesn't explode? I remember that exploding. Huh? Eh? No, okay. Okay, I see. I'm, I'm doing pretty bad at this boss fight right now, actually. It does not show I've been playing this game for as long as I have. Are you serious? Huh? Okay. Now, I have gotten lazy before and just let him eat my whole party. But I'm not going to do that, because that's awful. Oh, that worked. And then you swarm him. Call your Pikmin back, because he's about to get up. Once he gets up, he's actually gonna start hopping around. Second phase. Oh, he usually hops around maybe two or three times. Oh! There you go. Oh. Oh dear. Are you serious, you guys? This is... Proving much worse than I thought it would be. 
just because of the apparent ineptitude of the Pikmin. I trusted this game. Hey, what are you doing? Come back this way. And this will be likely the last time you'll need to do this. I've never seen anyone successfully one cycle the Emperor Ball Blacks. Oh, 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 oh. One more time. What? Hey, Mr. Bulba's feet there. There you go. All right, now it's the last time. Ah, <sighs> the fight has lost a little bit of flair as I've gotten older, but you know, it's, it's still got it. All right, the last ship part. At long last, I've found the final part. My secret's safe, and it's as full as ever. How glad I am that I've persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hokitate. And then he spits out pellets. I like to give them the pellets. They deserve it after a fight like that. I don't, however, like to pluck Pikmin, so now we're running back to base as fast as we can. We're gonna put up all the yellows and all the reds in our party, and we're gonna take out blues. Oh, I lost one. Ah, that's fine. You guys can do whatever you want. And then, on with the blues. Okay. Get down here. There we go. Making that discovery on the last day again, Olimar. You've made that a few times, actually. Okay. Let's walk up and mash A on that safe one more time and then take it back to base. And that's the end. It feels kind of sad to bring this to an end considering it's such a short game already. I mean, I do plan on doing some challenge mode with a special co-host. All right. Secret safe, the final part. At last I have it. My most prized possession. I'm so relieved. It's as heavy as ever. Yeah, this ship part requires the most Pikmin out of any in the game. Requiring and capable of fitting 100 Pikmin. I've never actually managed to get 100 Pikmin on this thing, though. Wait, is it only 95? Oh, looks like it's only 95. I thought it was more than that. But look how beautiful that looks. The reds, the blues, even some yellows participating and carrying that back. It, it's wonderful. Uh, all right, take a bomb rock. I finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Hokitate.
At the end of every run, you get your final analysis screen. It's a results screen, really, showing you exactly what you've completed, exactly what you did, and how well you did. Uh, as you can tell, with this being my only save slot on this, on this, on this version, um, yeah, I didn't do that well. Well, in my opinion, this isn't that well, but. Might be a different opinion for you guys. I think this was alright. I can do so much better. Huh. <sighs> Listen to that results screen though. It's just so pleasant. And we got all of the parts. Alright, now, there's one thing I want to mention here though. All of the parts in yellow are required parts. All the parts in blue are not required. He doesn't need the UV lamp, the massage machine, the space float, the Nova Blaster, or the secret save. You can get the main engine, pro positron generator, external flu fuel dynamo, extraordinary bolt, whimsical radar, Geiger counter, radiation canopy, canopy, Sagittarius, shock absorber, automatic gear, number one ionium jet, anti-dioxin filter, omega stabilizer, gravity jumper, analog computer, guard satellite, Libra, repair type bolt, gluon drive, zirconium rotor, interstellar radio, pilot seat, number two ionium jet, bow spirit, and the Cronus reactor, and still lift off. I think that's the fastest I've spoken in a long time. Uh, save, yes. And credits. As I've said, I own every version of this game, but I don't really have a way to record consoles, so this was all recorded with an emulator. But, uh, yeah. Whew. Uh, thank you, Miyamoto, for bringing this to my child- bringing this to me in my childhood. Uh. Thank you for watching this, guys. It was- it was, it's great. It was- this was great to do this again to play through this game for the channel. It was honestly really good. Um, script Motoi Okamoto. Is, the, is he the only one that did it? Because if so, like that explains why it's so, you know, just well kept together. They weren't going through a dozen other people to try and get this put out. Uh, Pikmin is a very simple real-time strategy game with a very simple concept of, and just overall a very simple game. 
It is fun and it has brought me years of joy, even though it probably doesn't have that much replay value to any value to anyone else. Uh, like I said before, thank you guys for watching. If you like my stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description if you want to support my channel. And if you want to see me play Pikmin 2, or if you want to see me play Pikmin 3 eventually, that would that would be an eventually. Because if I play Pikmin 2, I'm definitely going to play Pikmin 3 at some point, and even Hey Pikmin, which I stand by my statement of it being a good game. Um, yeah, it's a thing that I'll do in the future if you guys want to see it. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to leave you the bit with the bestiary. Have a good one.
Uh, now there's actually three endings to this game. And I plan on showing you all of the bad endings. I don't know if I can bring to you the okay ending where you just get the required ship required ship parts that would require starting over with a new playthrough but until i can bring you those thank you for watching this will be the final main part of my pikmin let's play if you like my stuff like i said like comment subscribe check my patreon coffee and twitter in the description and I will see you guys next time with Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Bye!